first. Dave, we know a lot of people excited to hear that news. Oh, yeah. Oh, me too. Me too. By the way, those Miller Moths here in the studio, in our little weather office studio, we've seen a couple the last couple of weeks flying around. I don't know how they get in so easily. Take a look at our uh, City Park camera. You could already see some cumulus clouds trying to build out there on the west side of town into the mountains, and some of those will turn into thunderstorms and move in. So right off the bat, I'm going to go with the uh, future cast for the front range here. Now, watch the green dots. The green Here's Fort Collins, here's Denver, Colorado Springs. We see, as we go through the afternoon, a few isolated hit and miss thunderstorms coming through. After about 3 o'clock, some of these could make their way into Fort Collins and Denver. We could get some rain, some gusty winds out of these, maybe some lightning. It's not going to rain the whole afternoon and evening, but after 3, you could have one of these passing by. So you may have to go into cover a little bit, and then you could get back out on the back patio if you need to. Temperature-wise already, we're 62 in Fort Collins, 59 in Firestone, 58 in uh, Denver, and 56 in Castle Rock. Let's take it full, and I uh, just want to recap Cap the rain we had this weekend. Man, it was good stuff for us. We had just under an inch officially at DIA in Wheat Ridge, Aurora, Elizabeth, Ken Carroll, and Littleton all over an inch of rain out of that moisture yesterday. Not bad at all. That whole complex now is right down the uh, Great Plains of the nation from the Dakotas through Nebraska, Kansas, all the way down into Texas here. And we're starting to see clear skies move into the western areas of our state. But right in the middle, there's a little moisture just coming down the pike here. And that's where our thunderstorms are trying to build up in the central mountains. You see the spotty clouds there building up. Those will turn into storms this afternoon. Uh, on the west coast, there's another system, another storm system moving into Seattle and Portland. That'll be a cold front for us arriving in our area on Wednesday, and that'll bring in the return of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. But in between for tomorrow, I think we're going to have a dry day. Here's the breakdown now for the afternoon. You can see the isolated storms popping. One good thing on this map, though, we talked about southern Colorado really not getting in on the moisture yesterday. They might have some good rainers with thunderstorms down there south of Colorado Springs and Salida. So hopefully that'll help out the situation a little bit down there. High temps today, 60s and 70s across the state with a few 50s popping in the mountains. So our high today, 65, 45 the low tonight, and then tomorrow, 76 mostly sunny, an almost perfect day tomorrow. 80 on Wednesday with afternoon thunderstorms, and then we, we drop down to 70 on Thursday, and then back up to 78 on Friday. But each afternoon, uh, starting on Wednesday, we might have a few storms giving us some water out there. Normal high this time of year, Andrea, is about 75, so we're kind of bouncing around that normal number. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> See ya. Von Miller knows something he'd like to bring to